Hello, it's Ruby, and today I'm going to be sharing a weekly study with me with you. I shared one of these about three years ago when I was doing my A levels, showing you all of the studying I did in a week, and I thought I would do another one. So we are starting off the week on Monday. I woke up early at 5.20 this morning because I wanted to get some work done in the morning. I had a formative assessment which was due in for Wednesday and I wasn't quite happy with mine yet so I woke up early and thought I would finish my second draft in the morning. So after lighting a candle, I got started on working on that formative. So I just made a copy of the document and then went through and rewrote the paragraphs that I wanted to rewrite and did extra research. For this assessment, I was looking at the history of Holocaust education. So then after breakfast at quarter past eight, I got started with some work for my Victoria module and I was basically just doing some critical reading. We were doing Alice in Wonderland this week, which was so, so fun. Oh my goodness, it's amazing being able to analyze and study a book that you love so much when you were a kid. I spent the morning doing some research into Victorian conceptions of girlhood. I was also doing some reading into the romantic conception of the child, which um, was developed in the early 19th century with thinkers like Baudelaire and Emerson so after doing some research into that I read Alice Underground I was halfway through this this is basically a facsimile of the first draft of um, Alice in Wonderland so it was written in a notebook by Carol and then given to Alice Little for Christmas and it's so cool to see his original illustrations and see how the text differed to the original I found that really fun oh and then next I watched a documentary about the illustrations of Alice in Wonderland which Blakeney had recommended to me this was only a 30 minute documentary and at the same time I painted my nails and I also made a bookmark for my friend Natasha On Mondays, Blakeney and I will call for a really long time and discuss whichever book we're studying that week in the Victoria module. The time we spend on this does vary, but because we both really liked Alice, we ended up going on a call for five hours. Now it's time for a Monday study session on Zoom with Blakeney, which is going to be really good fun. We're looking at Alice, oh, Alice in Wonderland today. Okay, bye. And I didn't film the studying that I did in the evening. I can't remember if I did study or not. Now let's go on Tuesday. I lit some candles, of course. So in the morning this day, again, I was working on my formative essay. I basically just wrote up my bibliography and bits of research. So then here I was doing even more work on that formative essay. I I wanted to get this done by midday and so I was just doing a few bits of extra reading. And then look at that, I submitted the essay, which was such a weight off my shoulders and I'm very, very glad to have had that done. So after that, I just wrote up some handwritten notes I'd written about Alice Mondland when I was reading it. And there weren't very many of these, but I just wanted to transfer it to the computer so, so that everything was in one place.
Then after that, I watched the lectures for this week for the Holocaust Remembrance module. This week, we were looking at Elie Wiesel and his literature. In particular, we looked at Night and also his play, The Trial of God. Then after this, I did some research into afternoon tea in Victorian England, which again was for that Alice in Wonderland preparation. And this is again something I've been meaning to research for ages and studying this book just kind of gave me the excuse to do that. I also looked over at the seminar questions that we had been given to look at in our study groups for the Victorian module. And I just bullet pointed some thoughts on that before our call, which was at four o'clock. And we just were on that call for I think an hour and a half. We basically have this call every week so we can talk through all of the questions and like formulate something together, which we then post um, on this like group chat for everyone in the module. And then in the evening, I did more research into afternoon tea. Okay, so now we are going on to Wednesday. Did not intend on showing you anything but studying in this video, but oh my goodness, the snow was so beautiful. And so um, I here are some very quick clips from my walk. Basically all of the water had frozen over and made these mini ice rinks everywhere, which was lovely. And also the sky was blue and it was just beautiful. I've just been working on preparation and reading for this seminar and now I've actually got the seminar but I didn't film that last bit so I'm sorry about that. It's literally now, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. A few seconds ago, gosh. Yeah, I didn't film in the morning this day, but basically I had just done the pre-reading for my Holocaust Remembrance module and also prepared my answers for the questions that we had to think about in preparation for the class. And then I actually had the seminar, um, but I didn't really do much studying on Wednesday morning. I was actually writing and I'm not showing you everything I do this week, only the studying I do. After the seminar, I just went through the notes that I'd taken and wrote up like a summary of the th things that I'd learned so that if I were looking back over my notes, I could really quickly see what we actually covered in that seminar and looked into any like research gaps that had come up during the class. Also, here's a quick outfit of the day, just because I kind of like this outfit. So here I was doing some more afternoon tea research and in particular I was looking at paintings and photographs depicting afternoon tea in the Victorian period and particularly focusing on Kate Greenaway's illustrations. This was so much fun. My um, seminar leader actually sent me some things to some paintings to look at and I found it really interesting. And I did this for a really long time. I also set up a whole notion page for my summative assessment and started to think about what I wanted to focus on for my summative assessment for the Victorian module, which was three weeks away on this day. And I just made this great big notion set up so that everything would be collated in one place. And it's also kind of a motivating force to work on the essay because it's such a satisfying page to fill out. I just wanted to show you this page because I'm really proud of it on Notion. So this is for my summative assessment. I've basically just put the title here and then some ideas of what I'm going to focus on. For all of my context research, I can add these on as I'm going along, but this is all I've done so far. And then I wanted to look at some Kate Greenway art artwork. So I've made this gallery. It's just so aesthetic. These pictures are so pretty. And then if we click on the first one, it takes you to a mini page where there is the image source and then the picture and then below there's space for like thoughts on the poem and the painting. That's what it's looking like at the moment and it's one of the most aesthetic pages I think I've made on Notion. Um, I know people have made much nicer ones than this but it makes me very happy to look at. I think it's very nice. <laughs> And then I just did some other like little bits of afternoon tea research in the evening before bed. 
So then we are on to Thursday and I'm starting quite late because I spent the morning writing. So in the morning I was doing some research into Lewis Carroll and I read an etiquette guide which he had written, uh, like a table etiquette guide. It was all sat satirical. He wrote it when he was quite young and that was really interesting. I was just like comparing it to the afternoon tea that we see in Alice in Wonderland and seeing if there were any similarities. It was very, very short, but that was the first thing I did. Oh, and then I read an essay by Thomas Emerson called Nature. I was already halfway through this, but I just finished that off and just kind of wrote up some notes as I was going along. So then ahead of my seminar, I'd also meant to read Alice Through the Looking Glass, but I hadn't. So I read half of it here. Um, I'm already quite familiar with the plot though, so it was more of a refresher and it was just nice to step back into this book. And then I wrote up some quick thoughts on the book before my seminar started at half twelve. My thing just stopped working and I know it was my fault because like like everyone else froze and I could still see mine so I know that it's my computer but like it's such an interesting discussion I just want to get back it's only like an hour and a half that we have and we're 10 minutes in so yeah so basically in short my internet played up and I had to restart my computer and I rejoined the seminar all okay after missing two minutes which was frustrating because it's such a fun seminar and the discussion was great but I got back in and it's a pretty minor inconvenience after the seminar, I again just went through and neatened up my notes, wrote up the key things that we'd covered. And in the evening, I was doing yet more research to do with Alice in Wonderland. And I also read this essay, which my seminar leader had recommended to me, which was basically about um, Mary Barton and women's etiquette and the role of women it references tea which is why she recommended it to me i also got this amazing coconut kefir uh, by remedy i ordered like 30 of these they're my favorite drinks at the moment and they're really nice to have in the evenings so then here we are on friday this was a day that I actually filmed, it was the bookworm day in the life that I did, so you might recognise these clips, but basically I finished reading that Mary Barton essay. Then I did some more research into the history of tea, in particular I made a timeline of the key events which occurred in the Regency and Victorian era surrounding like accessibility of tea and perception of tea, and that ended up being quite useful later on. I also found some poems about tea and analysed those just to see if there was anything there which might be useful for my summative essay not really but it was still fun and then i also analyzed the illustrations of alice's adventures in wonderland and also the illustrations from the nursery alice my, and that was my morning's work then after lunch i started reading our mutual friend which was the book we were set to study the next week for the victoria module this is a very big book and i probably should have started it sooner I've managed to get up to chapter six by the end of the day which isn't very much, to be fair. Okay, now we are on to Saturday. I started off by getting myself a lovely mug of matcha and also a smoothie. It was such a beautiful day today as well. I really didn't do much studying on Saturday. I just watched the Victorian lectures in the evening. And then finally on to Sunday. So in the morning, I finished watching the lectures for my Victorian module. We had four lectures this week and I'd watched one the night before and I watched the other three here. And as usual, I just wrote up my notes on Notion. Then I spent the afternoon reading some more of Our Mutual Friend and I managed to get up to 37% which I was pretty happy with. I was also doing some critical reading in the evening for my Holocaust Remembrance module and I also read a critical essay on Our Mutual Friend um, in preparation for my call with Blakeney the next day. I ended up reading two articles but one of them wasn't very useful, skimmed over it a little bit. 
And then finally, to finish off this week of studying, I read our core secondary reading for the Victorian module. Basically, we're given a few pages from the source book every week and I just went through and read and annotated this on my iPad and then wrote up the keynotes and some thoughts onto Notion. Anyway, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Do keep in mind the amount of studying that I do every week really does depend. This is more than I'll study some weeks, less than I'll study other weeks. It really depends on how interested I am in the material and, and if I have any deadlines coming up, if I'm spending time on other things. I hope that you have a productive week.